one of the things that we talk about often with our teens is comparisons and how they're comparing themselves to others, especially in the social media space. And so there's this saying, comparison is the thief of joy. And it really resonates in this situation. When you say to yourself, I'm not doing what she's doing, or I don't look like he does, or I'm not getting the grades that they are, what you're really saying is that I'm not good enough, or I'm not measuring up in some way. And so the comparison opens this opportunity for us to engage in negative self-talk, for us to tell ourselves that we're not good enough. You know, when was the last time that you compared yourself to someone else and said like, wow, I'm really doing okay here. I'm really, I'm good. Like, this is great. Typically, that's not our baseline. That's not something we standardly do. And so when we look at the concept of self-esteem, what we're really looking at is accurate perception of who we are. It's not thinking I'm the best. It's not thinking I'm better than everyone else. And it's also not thinking I'm the worst or I'm worse than everyone else. It's being able to take inventory of your strengths, take inventory of where you can improve and be able to say, this is who I am. This is what I'm doing. This is where I want to go. And here's what I need to do to get there. And so when we come back to this idea of accurate expression, being able to observe, being able to describe what is happening, rather than what we think should be happening, then we're able to increase our self-esteem because we see ourselves clearly and we're able to make a plan for where we want to go. So stop comparing yourself to other people. Accurately describe who you are and what you're doing and talk about where you want to go and then we can set the plan to help you get there.